Hello YouTube viewers. I'm currently building a high-speed brushless spindle for the milling machine and I'm using a little brushless motor that's intended for model car racing. This is a, it's a, called a 2430 size motor and it will, it's an in-runner motor and it will do up to about 50,000 RPM. I've got the motor itself, a speed controller and a, what's called a servo tester which is just a, a manual way of producing the signals required for the speed controller. Unfortunately all of this is generally intended to run off lithium ion or lithium polymer cells as used in model aeroplanes, model cars. And this is about this requires two cells, which is around seven and a half volts, which is unfortunately not a common uh, power supply voltage. Five, twelve, twenty-four. That's no bother. So, uh, and it also needs to be at quite a high current. Um, this is a twenty-five amp speed controller. So, I got hold of uh, a standard Chinese power supply off eBay. This is. Uh, a 12 volt 33 amp supply, model number S412. These are, are generally called S and then the power rating 400 watts, then the output voltage 12 volts in this case. And I modified it to give a variable output voltage anywhere from about 4.7 up to 15 volts. Uh, there's full details of the modification in the description down below, uh, in the link down below. Um, I'll just give you a brief overview of the, the modifications I did. So, inside, let me take the camera off the tripod just now. I traced out the entire circuit here, uh, a schematics available on the on the website below. Basically I removed the original voltage feedback resistor divider. There was a little uh, trim pot there which let you trim the voltage at plus or minus 10%. I removed that and added uh, some new divider components plus an external 10k variable resistor. Details of this are again in the in the website page below. Um, and I also added, just for good measure, a little voltage module. These are great little things, they're about five dollars off eBay. Um, this one runs off anywhere from five to thirty volts and uh, measures anywhere from zero to thirty volts. It automatically shifts the decibel point to, to suit the voltage range. Uh, this is powered off uh, an additional power supply. The again, full reasons for this are given in the the website. Um, basically, when the when the, the the whole supply is unloaded or is is operating in a very low load, uh, the supply goes into a sort of self-excited mode, and the auxiliary supply voltage becomes a little bit unstable and I found this was uh, causing problems with the, the voltmeter module so I added a, a completely separate supply it's still derived from the transformer windings but it's completely separate from the auxiliary supply used for the the TL494 uh, that gives you a, a nice smooth supply for the voltmeter module so on the surface, uh, modifications are quite simple. I did spend quite a bit of time trying to understand the supply, just how it worked. Um, so I'll close with a short clip showing the adjustment over the full range. And uh, please check out the, the website below for, for full details. Thanks for watching.